Hi folks, well it's Sunday the 26th of April and it's been a couple of weeks since I last gave you a look at what's growing around here. So let's have a look around the greenhouse. Hey folks. Just a quick look because I've got my Dutch buckets in finally. Um, I've kind of hacked apart this workbench that was in here and uh, taken all the slats off. I've numbered them so I can put them back on and installed another shelf lower down. So now the plants have got a bit of height to grow in and um, I've still got somewhere to put a screwdriver and occasionally balance things. I might fill in those gaps around there a bit more with the remaining planks and uh, make kind of a lid that can fit in when the buckets aren't in use maybe. But um, it's all up and running, the pump's running, we've got water trickling through them all, um, all looking good. And I've got two of the California Wonder Peppers at the end, two golden berries, and then another California Wonder Pepper that was in the NFT rail but not looking too happy. I didn't plan it this way, but it just so happens that the slats go back in around the sides of the plants. They're not screwed down at all, but um, yeah, it means I've still got a usable workbench even with the Dutch buckets there, so that's rather good. And uh, I've just been around and put a bit of silicon around all those um, grommets because there was a few drips going on, fairly major drips. But um, I think we're in business, so um, cool. Uh, it's Wednesday the 15th of April today and I just noticed I've got some fruit on this Sun Cherry Red Cherry hybrid um, determin determinate tomato that Trace Waters sent me the seeds for. So uh, excellent. Strawberries ready and uh, tomatoes a few weeks away. Awesome. So we've got two new bunnies. The one on the right hand side is called Cadbury and the one on the left is called Spotty Bob. And they have just come back from Pets at Home and just been released into their new environment for the first time. So they're having a little explore of the grass. They've got a big run and then we've got a uh, well three storey hutch for them because that's a third floor inside and they haven't yet been into the hutch to explore Capri so we'll let them have a little look around and uh, see if they find out where they can go to And we'll start off over here with my Dutch buckets, which none of you have seen before. Um, put in a bit of video here on how I actually made these and when I made them. But these have been in for a few weeks and I've still got to uh, actually glue the pipework together, which is why we've got a bit of a leak going on on that end, but most of it's alright. But um, yeah, I didn't want to lose my workbench, so the buckets uh, grow through the workbench. And then all these slats are just sitting here loose, or most of them are. A couple of them are nailed back in place. But um, yeah, that's all going good. So we've got a pepper at the end, two golden berries, which are looking fine. And then another couple of peppers there. Um, the garlic, um, I shot a video of this as well. But uh, as you can see, we've um, our garlic has split from being single plants and now I think what's happening here is all the individual cloves that we've now developed underground have started sending up their own shoots through the middle of the old plant so they're all subdividing by the looks of it and getting um, some really quite impressive growth there after a few weeks without it this one's another one you see this has grown bits up the middle and this old leaf here on the outside if I peel this off will uh, free up these stems in the middle and that can grow through from there. But very pleased with the garlic. Onions, look at the size of these things. These are my onion, there they are, onion electric, they are. But um, they're just getting massive, these things. I mean, the size of the stems on them is really quite impressive. And let's have a look and see what's going on. There we go, so we're starting to develop a nice bulb at the bottom there, that should be good. It can turn into a big bulb of garlic in a few months time. 
But, I mean, the length of these leaves, I mean, the width of this thing, it's, it's huge. It's huge. So I'm very pleased with the onions. Um, this golden berry in the corner, we've got lots of flowers on. And we've got lots and lots of these little calyx things on it now, which contain the fruit. And um, I don't know how long they take to develop, but it's looking quite a happy plant there. And above it, we've got another golden berry in the top rail. And again, we're developing lots of these calyxes on here, so this is looking quite happy. Um, my pea, this is a Kelvedon wonder, but this is uh, coming to flower now, so we'll soon be getting the pea pods descending out of the middle of the flowers. Um, hopefully they've got pollinated. We've had plenty of bees in here this week. And last week, oh, we got another golden berry again with uh, the fruit calyxes developing. And lots of flowers, so that should be hopefully giving a good crop. Um, we've got some sweet aperitif tomatoes. Lots of flowers, and we've got a couple of fruit coming along on there now. So, uh, excellent. Give them a little tap, help with pollination. Um, this sweet aperitif here is also growing up there, so quite pleased with that. Lettuce, I'm going to have to just pull these lettuce out because we just don't eat enough lettuce. I don't need this many growing. Even that one, that was a plant that was cut off and um, that's all regrowth since it's been sat there waiting for me to find a home for it. Um, but yes, everything's growing well. This is one of the sun cherry red cherry hybrids that Trace Waters sent to me. Um, I don't see fruit on there. The front of the plant looks a bit manky, but the back's all looking quite good. This kind of suffered a bit when it was um, transplanted. This brand new wine here, we're looking good. Lots of flowering going on. Um, don't see any fruit just yet, but we've got plenty of flowers looking good there. Give all them a little tap. See if we can help it along the way. Oh, we've got some more on this side as well. So, yeah, that's all looking very good. Um, and then we'll go on to the top rail. Just check it out. I've been very good. I haven't stolen all these this week. Just because I wanted to show you what it looks like in here at the moment. But yeah, we've got a whole load of strawberries ripe and ready to eat. And of course, I can't resist. Can't get through the thing. Ah, I've got a camera over here. That is a really nice strawberry. Mm. Very, very good. Um, up at the top rail, I took all the runners off these to help them uh, devote their energy back to flowering again. After they had a week where the uh, nutrients all ran out um, and they suffered a bit, they just put out loads and loads of runners and stopped fruiting. Um, seemed to have encouraged this one back into fruiting again. Um, this chap here's, yeah, this needs to go back into the root misting chamber. This isn't uh, growing roots properly. Um, whether it will survive at all, I'm not sure. I'll drop that down in a bit. Let's just look at what I get here. This is absolutely marvellous. Oh, and I've got some footage from last week's strawberries as well. But I'm going to pick all these strawberries now and um, feed them to the children. I've had this guy in the greenhouse helping me out today. Um, he seems very interested in the aphids on the lettuce. So it uh, looks like he's here for the night anyway. He seems to have quietened down, down there. But um, yes, I believe this is some kind of aphid predator. So I'm going to go and Google that now. So out here with the potatoes, they've started popping their heads up in uh, one of my raised beds. This was the sarpomeras in here, I think. But we're uh, popping up, so I'll have to earth them over soon. Right, later. Let's go and have a quick look in the other greenhouse. Oh, that's not. My asparagus plant is back. I've got a couple of spears coming up. This is, uh, it's first winter this is done now, so can't harvest anything off this yet, but I thought it had given up altogether and I see it's sprouted again, so excellent. That's still going on. And uh, some leftover onions from last year that have they're doing quite well out here. Leeks from last year, we just haven't been using, but they're probably getting quite good by now. Right, let's have a look in the other greenhouse. So, in greenhouse number two, things aren't looking too healthy. The uh, leaves on this golden berry are all yellowing. Um, this brandy wine, well, it's flowering but not growing. 
Um, I've got a replacement plant for that ready to go though. Now actually this is new growth down here but I've got a replacement to drop in there. The Sun Cherry Red Cherry mixed performance but not looking great and the uh, Sweet Aperitif also not looking great and I discovered a few days ago what had happened in here is every single one of the air stones in all of those four containers had blocked up so the nutrients haven't been getting mixed up at all. So I've fixed the air stones now and I'll do a full nutrient change on them today. But um, we have still got some fruit growing nicely on this red cherry, sun cherry hybrid. So, um, you know, not all bad. But uh, I imagine things will be a lot better with fresh nutrients in all of them. And uh, just the other side, we've got two new friends and I've shot a lot of footage for that so I'll cut some of that in here. <laughs> joining me folks. Um, hopefully when I've cut all the video footage I shot over the last couple of weeks together this will turn into uh, something worth watching. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it folks and uh, see you next time. Cheers!